This is Twit. I went and bought an iPhone 8 Plus when it came out. I, I bought every iPhone Plus since the 6 Plus. Yeah. I've been happy with them. Yeah. 8 Plus came around. And, I've, and I, I heard you all talking about it on, on, on this show and all, and, you know, back break weekly and so forth in iOS today. And I said, no, I can get by with an 8 Plus. And I've been very happy with it. In fact, I went to a wedding, my sister's wedding, or my nephew's wedding, I should say, and took wonderful pictures with it. You bet. And it was very pleasing. Um, but then I heard all about the iPhone 10, and now I'm wondering, <laughs> even though I'm not unhappy with the iPhone 8 Plus, did I make a terrible You have iPhone envy, my friend. And this is what Apple wanted you to have all along. So I think, you know, I also bought the 8 Plus. And again, uh, I knew, of course, that I was also going to get an iPhone 10, uh, And uh, I realized that Apple was going to get an extra 1000 bucks out of me for, for two months while I was waiting for the iPhone 10, But I did it anyway. Uh, but I have a good, I have an excuse, you know, this is my job. Um, I think the iPhone 10 is definitely the best iPhone made. Now, there are some, uh, to, I'll make you feel a little bit better. The difference between the two cameras is minimal. It's, it's physically the same hardware with one little exception. The, there's uh, optical image stabilization on two on both lenses instead of just the big lens on uh, the 8. Um, but that's not a big difference. Uh, the ca so the camera you're going to get you would get equally good pictures with the 8 plus or the uh, at the 10. The 10 does more stuff um, computationally because it has a much faster Actually, it doesn't have a faster processor. It's the same processor, same amount of memory, same amount of storage. The difference, the really big difference, and some people this is a negative, is they're swapping out your fingerprint reader, Touch ID, for a face recognition system called Face ID. And that has its pros and cons. Touch ID works pretty much every time, right? Unless your hands are wet or you got gloves, mittens on. It pretty much works every time. It works very quickly. You put your finger on the on the home button and the phone unlocks and is ready to use. Face ID works nearly every time, but there's enough times that for me, at least once or twice a day, I have to enter in my PIN. So I, I'm of the opinion Face ID isn't quite as reliable as Touch ID. Apple says it's more secure, but we can only go by what Apple says, which isn't really very handy. You know, there's not, that's not... You know, they haven't offered any proof. They say that Touch ID uh, has a potential of uh, a false positive. Somebody unlocking your phone that's not you of about 1 in 50,000. They say Face ID, it's 1 in a million, but it isn't in some respects because twins can unlock. And it looks like even kids who look a lot like their parents can unlock it. So I'm not yet sold on Face ID. And I know, I know at least one security expert who says I will not use it. I do not trust it. On the other hand, in terms of convenience, it's great because you don't have to, you just hold the phone up and look at it and it unlocks and you can uh, have your bank do that. You can have your password manager do that. So it's, it's, it's so fast, it's almost as if as soon as you raise the phone, it's, it's ready to use. But, and I'll point this out too, you raise the phone, it unlocks, then you still have to physically, with one hand, swipe it up. So there's an extra step involved that I'm not crazy about either. You can turn that off in the iPhone 8 Plus. You can have it just unlock with your fingerprint reader and be ready to go. Uh, let me think. What else? Uh, phone quality is the same. The biggest difference uh, is the visible difference, of course, is the screen. The iPhone 10 screen doesn't have, because it has no home button, it has the screen goes all the way to the edge uh, of, the, uh, of the phone. But that's a negative, too. I'm trying to sell it. I'm trying to downsell it for you. The other negative is it's a smaller usable screen area than you have on your iPhone 8 Plus or a 7 Plus or a 6 Plus, 6 S Plus, because there's extra stuff. There's the notch at the top for Face ID, and there's some controls at the bottom because you're, you have a new user interface that involves swiping with your fingers in various directions. So... The available real estate on the iPhone 10 is smaller. It's physically smaller in the hand as well. It feel I actually don't. I kind of like that. I don't mind the smaller screen, but you might. And if you look at comparisons of screenshots uh, between the two, you'll see there is in fact less real estate on the iPhone 10. It also costs a couple hundred bucks more. So 
I don't know if I've reassured you, but I think the iPhone 8 Plus is fine. It's the same processor, same camera, uh, same software. It's an LCD screen, not an, an OLED screen. Um, I, I think, frankly, um, if you're happy with the iPhone 8, I'm not sure I would abandon it. Don't, don't get an iPhone envy. Oh, thank you. I, I wasn't I was going to give it up, but I wanted to hear more that I hadn't made some terrible kind of mistakes. You haven't. I, you haven't. I do think that this is the future of the iPhone, so that next year all the iPhones will be like the iPhone 10. You're you you have the last iPhone with a touch ID with a fingerprint reader, but I bet you you will that will give it great resale value because there will be a segment of the market come next year who will say, "But wait, I want a new phone, and I don't want this one." Okay. Well, thank you very much. Don't feel Appreciate bad. It. Feel good. You got you got a good phone. Nothing wrong with it.